Hello, so this is going to be a very brief video just about the proper fitting of these masks. Now, of course, if you're using them medically, you're meant to have them fit checked and everything. But sadly, it seems at the moment, because so many medical staff around the world are short of basically respiratory protective equipment for COVID-19, they're just being rushy equipment and not trained how to use it properly. So you see lots of pictures of doctors or well-meaning people who are being given this stuff, but it's not fitted to them or they've not been told how to put them on properly and it won't protect them. So this video is just in case anybody watches it, just so they know how to put it on. So some of these have a clip basically at the back you undo and then do when it's around your neck. Others are sort of banded like this. So what we're going to do is I'll show you first the ones that aren't adjustable, as in you don't unclip them. Um, so this would apply to N95 masks, anything like this, any of the two band type strap ones. So what I'm going to do first is just loosen the straps on here, basically because once you've done that, um, you know, obviously you tighten them as you need to. That way you're not putting something really tight over your head. So this is the GVS Ellipse. I previously reviewed these. These were pretty good when they were turning up for like 20 quid. Sadly, now they're inflated in price. Now, an important note, if you have glasses, often with a lot of half face masks, you can wear glasses, but you need to make sure they do not break the seal of the mask to your face. I'll demonstrate that in a minute. So let me just take those off. So what you do, put both straps so they're around the back of your neck like that. The reason being is once both straps are on the back of your neck, the mask will just hang there like that and it's almost ready to be deployed. Then you have a top strap. That's the top strap on this one. So what you're going to do with the top strap is just put this so it's basically behind the back of your head. Then you put the mask down so the mask is where it's meant to be on your face. Now you tighten the strap. It doesn't really matter on the order and all on the sleeve when you tighten the straps as long as you get done tightening them. You kind of want to do them evenly though. So for every bit you adjust, like the left strap, you adjust the right strap. The easy way of doing that is just pulling them both at once. And there you go. Tighten it to the degree where it's comfortable, but not too tight. The reason being, the tighter it is, the better fit they make normally. But the issue is often, I think, 3M's worked out, if people tighten the masks too much, they're more likely to keep breaking the seal of their finger or something, because it's putting pressure on their face. So now what you should be able to see is the masks on my face like this. Now, if you've got glasses, put them over the top. The reason you're doing this is the glasses frame is now not breaking the seal of the mask. If you're wearing protective goggles, it's the exact same thing. Do not have your glasses underneath the seal where the nose bridge forms, because then you'd be breaking the seal with the mask. So there we go. That's all there is to putting these on properly. With some of these, you can do a fit check by either covering the intakes or outtakes and breathing in or out. So I can feel a bit of pressure building there. I can feel the mask inflating there, so that's fine. So that's the GVS Ellipse. There'll be lots of other masks with a similar thing to that. But make sure the bottom band is lower than your neck or at your neck level. The top band is about here. The reason being sometimes you see doctors or pictures of medical people where they've got both bands at the same place or one just slightly above the ear, one slightly below the ear. If you're doing that, it's not going to be pulling the mask tight enough. Right, now the JSP Force 8. This is one of the ones with a neck clip. So basically what you do is first you put this around here, then you clip it. There we go. So that's that bit. Uh, it's the same with the ellipse where it will just hang from your neck like that. Now, again, you've got adjustable top straps and all that, but the process is very similar. Once you've got them tightened to how you want them, you just pull it up, put this on like that, and then the mask's like that. Obviously, make sure you've got the filters on if they were masks issued with filters, because if you've not got the filters on, it won't do any good. This has a good press to check mechanism on this one. As you can see, it's pressurizing like that, so there we go. And again, make sure your glasses are put on in such a way, although they can go under these straps, that's fine. Do not make, you know, make sure the glasses do not go under the nose bridge, because if they will, they'll compromise the seal. Same if you're wearing safety glasses, you know, protective eyewear that you'd hope you'd be issued with. But again, make sure the straps are like this, you know, not that you've got, with one with a mask like this is actually quite hard to do the straps up incorrectly because they've got the head harness there. But let me just show you a very quick example with the um, other mask of how I've seen people do it incorrectly. Just so, you know, you have an example. So this is what not to do. So quite often you see pictures of medics or people in the street wearing these who have been issued them and what they might do is something like this. Again, that might look at the moment like it's on properly. It seems to be pressurising, but the tension is not in the right places. So sooner or later, it's probably going to pull away at my nose like that. The point of having the top strap higher up is that 
basically, you know, there is tension where there needs to be tension. And I said, the other important thing is make sure there's not glasses or your collar or anything breaking the seal between the mask and your face. Because if that's happening, you know, it's no good. The reason I like the masks like this, basically, is because you can have them at your neck where they're fairly comfortable. Obviously, where it's this one's been tightened now, it's not so comfortable. But with a lot of these, you know, there's a position where you can have it hanging down where it's comfortable. And then as and when you need it, you just do this, um, which is really handy. So there you go, I really hope this video does help people, it's very straightforward, lots of my long term subscribers know all this stuff, like the back of their hand, but as I said, this is just mainly for the people who have been, you know, issued this equipment, have no proper training in it, and you know, I really hope that some of them might see a video like this all done by somebody else, because sadly at the moment, all those equipment is thankfully now being rushed to the people who need it, who are doing a great job on the front lines fighting COVID-19 or, you know, other diseases. Sadly, I think a lot of them aren't being told how to use it properly. Also, make sure your chin shaved and all that. I've got my moustache trimmed to the point where a mask will seal around it properly, but um, I've seen pictures of doctors with beards as well with these masks on where they're not going to seal. So, there you go. That's how you do it. But just remember, strap, strap at the neck, strap there. Don't um, do not do both straps there, you know, or very, just like one strap there, one strap there, because it's not going to have the tension it needs. Even when you're using um, basically like N95 style masks, although you'll sometimes see people with one strap like that, always put the other strap as high on your head as it will be stable, preferably above the ears like that, just because when you do that, it means, you know, it's a lot more secure. Um, and it's going to pull tight to your face, which is what you want, because if it's not airtight to your face, it's not going to filter the air coming in, it will not protect you.